folks, it's Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and we are here to show you our beautiful 2022 Tandem Canoe Collection. Look at all these babies. How are you going to decide which one is best from you? Take a look at all of these. We're going to go over all the different models, many of the different features. We also have a pack boat to show you in this collection. But we're going to start with these beauties down over here. These are four David Yost designs. They're symmetrical canoes. Both ends have the same shape. If you turn them around, they're the same boat. So we've got the Algonquin 16 and three of our prospectors, the Prospector 15, 16, 17. These are the most user-friendly, very versatile boats in our line. So let's go through them in detail with you. Here is a Prospector 15 in our carbon fusion laminate with a beautiful carbon and a negra H-weave on the inside. And it has the carbon and negra H-weave on the outside, such a beautiful finish. This particular version also has the carbon tech package, the black carbon gunnels, the black carbon end caps, carbon handles, carbon seat systems, carbon yoke. This is a beautiful, compact, lightweight tandem canoe. Lots of folks buy this that are primarily doing day paddling, daytime excursions. There may be two people in the boat. If you want to solo paddle it, you can sit in the bow seat and face the back of the boat, you want to put a little weight in the other end if it's a real windy, wavy day. This is absolutely one of our most popular boats because it's got a lot of stability, but it also has the beautiful David Yost roundness to the chine area with a bit of flare above the waterline and a little tumble home up near the gunnels. David has over 200 production boats that have been made now. He's an absolute genius as a designer. This is absolutely one of his most popular models. It's stable, it's maneuverable, it tracked reasonably well. And let me show you, this is perhaps its greatest feature, that it is absolutely the lightest tandem canoe that we make. Here is our best-selling canoe, especially in Canada, the Prospector 16, which is actually much closer to a chestnut cruiser than a Prospector. It's a little bit sleeker than most Prospectors on the market, especially from the waterline on down. It's a Prospector that when you take a stroke, it's got really good glide to it, and it moves really nicely into the next stroke. It's very popular with people that really want to weigh the boat down with a lot of gear and or bigger paddlers feel very comfortable in it. This particular one right here is a brand new finish that we have for this year. This is our popular Kevlar Fusion laminate with the black and gold interior with what we call the amber finish on the outside. It's the black and gold again. This also has the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim, all cherry interior. These boats are absolutely beautiful. The Kevlar Fusion laminate is one of our most popular. The shape of the boat, it's very rounded in the chine area. So it really handles wind and waves well. The waves will roll underneath it very nicely with less effect of moving the boat around. It's got a bunch of flare above the widest point, and then quite a bit of tumble home up near the top to make it where you get a little bit narrower paddling position. You don't need to reach quite as far over the side when you're paddling. Now here's another Prospector 16. This baby's really set up for a little bit heavier duty tripping. It's our Expedition Kevlar laminate. It's got the beautiful, Basalt and Negra commingle cloth on the inside. It's a very nice earth tone look. This boat also has the Kevlar bang plates on the outside. We typically do them in black 
when we do the Expedition Kevlar with a basalt co-mingle exterior finish as well. This is a specialty finish that's become real popular this year. For those that really like a nature look, earth tone look, this is an absolutely beautiful boat. Now this one has our standard cherry interior finish. It also has an adjustable seat in the front that has locking knobs on the bottom. It makes a canoe more versatile. A smaller person can move the seat way forward where they can put their feet right on the front float tank. It makes the boat narrower and easier to reach over the sides while they're paddling. And also, you can bring the seat back very easily if you have a taller paddler. A little bit more leg room and you can adjust the balance of the boat somewhat. This Prospector 16, beautiful finish. Many other options are available on it. Here are two Prospector 16s with our popular Canada package on them. This particular one has the Kevlar Fusion finish with the black and gold interior with a beautiful all cherry trim finish on it. Look at this folks. The outer, the inner gunnels are cherry. The decks are cherry with these nice scuppers on them. Very caressable for those who like a really nicely finished and appointed boat. This will add about 10 pounds to the weight of the boat over our carbon Kevlar trim. But our boats are so light to those that may not be doing real long portages or carries. It's, it's a very lightweight boat at 50, 52 pounds. Beautiful finish. It's got our nice comfort seating systems on it with the angle to the front bar. The nice curve to the back of the seat. All stainless steel hardware, some nice scuppers in the middle. And let's show you folks, the Canada package has the nice maple leaf right on the bottom of the boat. And towards the back of the boat, we also have these appointments, these nice maple leaves cascading on the boat. Beautiful finish, very unique. We sell lots of these, and we've even had some folks from the U.S. order them. And there's one of these in Switzerland now. Now, this Prospector 16 is very cool also. This is for people that love the look and feel of wood, but they want the lightweight package. So this is the Cherry Outers with the carbon decks on our carbon Kevlar trim. This will add about two pounds to the weight of this boat. So this boat's gonna be in the neighborhood of about 42 pounds. The carbon Kevlar trim has a little bit different shape than our standard trim. We don't put the outer lip on it. Instead, the cherry accounts for that. So it deflects the splash and the spray off the boat. As you come down it, it's really nice to have the outer lip when you're flipping the boat up. It's a beautiful finish. So two more ways you can get your Prospector 16s or any other tandem canoes we make. You can get this package on any of the boats with the all cherry trim or with the cherry outers and the carbon decks. Here is a beautiful Prospector 17 in the Kevlar Fusion laminate with the emerald green finish and the champagne hull on it. Beautiful boat. It's got the cherry interior with the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim on it. People really like our carbon Kevlar trim, folks. We do a nice outer lip on it. Really deflects the splash in the spray. It's got a very smooth finish on it. We put a couple coats of a resin system on it after we pull it out of the mold. When we infuse boats with this trim on it, the hull and the gunnels get pulled out of the mold as one structural part. It's super cool technology. Now this Prospector 17, you can see it's got a very wide bow seat, very wide frame with a nice angle to the front part, very comfortable position. And then this has a much wider frame seat in the middle. So people in the middle of the boat 
can move over to the side so two smaller kids can paddle side by side. We call this the kid center seat. When we do this configuration, we turn the yoke around backwards so it's facing the stern so you can portage it well. You can also order this seat detachable and you also can get it in a solo seat position where we put it right here. Now this particular boat is our most stable canoe. It's very popular with large people, with people that want to really load the heck up out of a boat. We've had several families that have two, three kids, a couple big dogs. This Prospector 17, it's nice and deep, it's very wide, it's a beautiful boat. At the same time, it's got a beautiful hull shape to it. It really paddles nicely in the water. It has a little bit more rocker than our Kiwadens, a little bit more maneuverable when you get in the windy, twisty streams. This particular one is pretty lightweight with a Kevlar Fusion laminate. And we've got another one here. This is a used demo that we wanted to show you that we've used as a rental boat. We wanted to show you what a boat looks like once it's been marked up a little bit and so on. As you can see in the black carbon Kevlar trim here, you can lightly sand this over time with a wet dry sandpaper and put a little bit more resin on it. Same thing with the end caps on the boats. And let's go through this one. This one has the Basalta Negra finish on the outside. It's the Expedition Kevlar laminate with a beautiful Basalta Negra on the inside. And then it's got the Carbon Tech package, the handles, the seats, the thwarts, the yoke. All the interior parts are carbon. The yoke, the thwarts, and the handles, they're hollow parts. They're made with two-piece cast aluminum molds that when they come together, they, they really give us a super tight seal. We put a bladder system in and we resin infuse the part. It's really cool technology. Now this particular one has the kid center seat in it. So this very easily, I can take out. This particular boat has the detachable version. So if I want to have a nice setup for just two people tripping in the boat and don't want the center seat, it makes it so much more versatile. This one also has the stern carbon foot bar, which is adjustable. Different sized people can adjust the seat very nicely. So this particular Prospector 17 is really set up with a lot of cool features on it. This Prospector 17 has been used. It's been on half a dozen trips. It's got the Kevlar bang plates. You can see it takes a lot of beating, absorbs a lot. Here's what your boat will look like if you get the two-tone color finish over time. We call them character marks and every boat needs to get these marks on them. This is a sign of a boat living a very good life. Now, all of our laminate structures we've designed to have elasticity to them. They don't oil can when you paddle, but they really flex when you run over a rock, you run over a log. We have a whole video on technology that we encourage you to watch also, where we go over our laminates and colors in much greater detail. Here is our Algonquin 16. This particular one is our Kevlar Fusion Laminate, which for 2022 we're now offering with the beautiful Basalta Negra commingle finish on the outside as a specialty finish. And this particular one has the aluminum trim on it. Very durable, very maintenance free. We do ABS end caps. Drill a hole in the end for the water to drain out when it's turned over. There's aluminum handles put in with stainless steel hardware. We've got a super strong way to put the seats in this boat where 
There's a ribbing structure right across the boat, right where the seat is. This is super strong, super durable. We've developed this system through the Algonquin Outfitters rental fleet. And we've got something else really cool on here. This is called an interior gel coat patch, which is a $200 option on our, all of our canoes. And what this does is, it's not paint, it's a gel coat finish. It's significantly harder. It makes the boat really easy to clean, to wash out. If you like to fish, if you get a lot of mud in your boat. It does add weight though. It's gonna add a pound and a half, two pounds to the weight of your boat. Now the aluminum trim finish comes standard with the cherry finish on it, the cherry oak and cherry seats. We put aluminum backing plates on the inside of all of our aluminum trim and carbon Kevlar trim yokes. It gives them far longer longevity. Now the Algonquin 16 itself, David Yost, our designer, feels this is the best design he's ever done for people entering the sport that want to get a canoe that has a really high degree of stability to it. It's got really good both initial and final stability, but at the same time, it really paddles nicely. When you take a stroke with this, it really accelerates nicely and it glides into the next stroke. So if you folks are just entering the sport, this is definitely a model that you want to consider. It's available in all of our laminates. You can get it in the carbon Kevlar trim finish. This particular finish is a beautiful version of it. Algonquin 16. For those of you that really like tripping, or you like a boat that really paddles nicely when you take a stroke, really accelerates, really glides, has good speed to it, you're going to love our Kiwaden series. We've got a Kiwaden 16, a Kiwaden 17, a Kiwaden 18.6. These boats are all asymmetrical, designed by David Yost as well. They have a little bit longer, sleeker entry lines to them, and they've got a good amount of rocker of upwards curvature to the bottom in the front. So the bows are very maneuverable. A bow paddler that can do a good draw stroke or pry stroke can really move these around the corners. They're very rounded, even a little bit more so than the Prospector in the Chine area. So they really handle wind and waves well. Waves will roll underneath them with little effect of moving them around. And what folks really like about them is that they're very straight keeled in the back end. They really track in a straight line nicely. The stern will follow the bow around. The bow paddler does a draw stroke, slides the bow, the stern will fall in around. If you're cutting across a lake, it's so easy to get the boat to track in the direction that you want to go. So let's go over these guys in detail. Here is a Kiwaden 16 in Kevlar Fusion with a ruby clear coat finish. This baby has the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim, the all cherry interior, and this canoe is set up the way I would order it. I love having the bow sliding seat. My gal's 5'7", and she's half my weight. She's 120 pounds. She likes moving the seat way forward where she can brace her feet right on the front float tank. She feels more control. She can brace her legs on the side, because she's lighter, it brings the bow of the canoe down more, so we ride more level in the water. It's a really cool system. Taller people can move the seat back more. Lots of leg room. Super rigid, stiff way we do this. We've engineered these side pods that are directly adhered onto a ribbing structure. Lots of structural integrity. We do another ribbing structure back here where the crossbar in the back is, rigid and stiff. This is a really popular canoe with couples looking for a lightweight tandem tripping boat that like efficiency. It's not important that it's fast. 
is that it makes it easier. If you've got a windy, wavy day and you've got to cross the lake, it's so much nicer to paddle in conditions like that when you've got a really sleek shape to take you through the water. Now this one also has standard, our beautiful contoured mm -hmm. yoke, which we make in our own wood shop. And then this also has what's referred to as a detachable kneeling thwart. It's much wider frame than you see in kneeling thwarts from other folks in the industry. You can really put all your weight on the bar, hardly any on your knees and feet at all. And it's also detachable. You can just undo these knobs, take it off if you're going on a tandem trip and you don't want it. I like keeping it in because when I get to the campsites, I like paddling solo to where there's not a campsite to look for firewood and bring it back to the site. Makes the boat a little more versatile. So beautiful setup on this boat. Kiwaden 16, Kevlar Fusion, bow sliding seat, detachable kneeling floor. Now, how about this baby over here? This is our absolutely stunning Raven finish. So it's very subtle, but there's four different shades of blue that are lightly sprayed in our mold when we make this boat. Lighter and lighter, and the blue fades all the way down to the middle of the boat. And then it's the black carbon clear coat finish for the back half of the boat. We also do the reflective black decals on these boats that pop when light hits them at night. They're very subdued, very cool looking. Now this Keyway 16 is a carbon fusion boat. It also has the carbon tech package. So the handles, the seats, the yokes, these are all really cool. We have developed this super cool technology where we build these in-house. The handles, the thwarts, the yoke are all hollow, hollow parts. For more detailed information, check out our 2022 technology video. We go over them in great detail. And here's another little bit of a tease for that video. This is one of our carbon seats that we also make in-house. We've developed some super cool technology where we've built carbon I-beams into the foam structure on our crossbars when we build these seats. This is infused. The framework of this all is one structural part. It's super cool technology. We're gonna have our lead engineer, Matt, tell you all about these in our technology video. Now this particular boat, also has the carbon foot bar in the back. When you're tandem tripping, you can use your packs to brace your feet against Austin, often to give you a little bit more power and control. I do a lot of day paddling also, so I put the stern carbon foot bar in all of my boats just so I always have a bracing position. You can get the kayak foot brace here when you get that, your feet are more over on the side of the boat. I like the carbon foot bar because it allows me to also put my feet right in the middle if I want to. So these two Keywaden 16s are beautiful setups. One has the modern technology of the carbon tech package, completely maintenance free. The other one has the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim with the all cherry interior. Ooh la la, which one are you gonna choose? Here's another really cool version of the Kiwaden 16. This is the Kiwaden 16 pack boat tandem with a sapphire blue finish, the Kevlar fusion laminate. It's got the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim with the cherry handles, cherry yoke on it. Now, what's really neat about this, guys, this has our super comfortable pack boat seats on it. A lot of padding on the bottom, adjustable lumbar support, very flexible seating system. This we call the limousine. And if you really have back issues or you really want a lot more support while you're paddling, 
This is only available in the Kiwaden 16. You're going to want to check out our 2022 pack boat video to learn all about this baby. Okay guys, folks that watch a lot of our videos know that I have a lot of favorite Swift models, but this is the favorite model for my partner Adrian and I. We have a Kiwaden 17 much like this and we've named our boat Luna. And it's an absolutely beautiful boat and check this baby out right here. This is a Kiwaden 17 in carbon fusion with a black and white H pattern weave on the inside. It's got the clear coat carbon and Negra H weave on the outside. It's got the black carbon trim on it. And this baby has the carbon tech package on it. We call this the Swifty Outfitting Package because this is the way that I know my dad would order his canoe and it's the way that I want my boat to be. I feel really strongly that people should have the bow sliding seat if they're going to be doing a lot of tripping or if one of the paddling partners is shorter my partner's 5'7", she loves having the ability to brace her feet right on the float tanks. These seating systems are super cool. We've got really neat seats where you can kneel or sit very comfortably. There's nobody else in the industry doing seats like this at all. All of the structures, the side pods are put in right where a ribbing structure's in the boat. When we do the carbon tech package, we're able to inset the carbon crossbar down a little bit lower. This one has the same carbon yoke that we just showed you in the Kiwaden 16. It's got the also the carbon foot bar in the back of the boat. This baby is set up to trip, and this is a pretty big boat. But Joe, let's show these people how light this boat is. This is a boat that I could easily take on a trip. Carry with one hand, perhaps. How about that? <laughs> he weighed in 17. This is my tripping boat of choice. Now, right next to it, we have another lovely boat. This is a Kiwaden 18.6 in the Kevlar Fusion laminate with the sapphire blue over the champagne hull. It's got the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim, the cherry interior on it. This is a really popular boat for two people that want to go on real extended trips and put a lot of gear in that like to paddle with bench shaft paddles and paddle very fast and quick, or for families may have one or two kids in it that also want to trip very efficiently. And I typically find about average size and smaller families love this particular family setup. Larger people like the Prospector 17 setup. This one also has the kids detachable seat on it, which is right in front of the yoke and we turn the yoke around backwards. Now, if you're going on a tandem trip, this particular one is detachable. So you can take it out very easily. The yoke is turned around backwards, but it's fine. There's lots of portages, have lots of room on it. So this is a really cool setup as a tandem tripper. So folks that want to get a two person tripping canoe, but sometimes they may take three people in it as a tripping canoe, We'll often order the Kiwaden 18.6 or the Kiwaden 17 with the kids detachable center seat. Which one of these is going to suit your needs the best? Okay, folks, we've got beautiful tandem canoes at Swift. Lots of choices. Which one do you think will be the best for you?